Monster Jam returns to Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, which was the home of Monster Jam World Finals 22 in 2023. The last time Monster Jam was in this building, Tristan England won the World Racing Championship and Colt Stevens won the World Freestyle Championship. And now we are here with 12 competitors in the summer of 2024, ready to go with an amazing event ahead. Find out how everything is going to pan out next on Monster Jam. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Oh, 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 yeah! and welcome to Nashville, Tennessee inside Nissan Stadium tonight. The home of country music and the home tonight of Monster Jam. That's right, these 12 competitors are ready to tear up the track here in Nashville, Tennessee. 12 drivers will be doing battle in three competitions. Monster Jam Racing, the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and Monster Jam Freestyle. So, let's take a look at the field of trucks for tonight's event. The first truck and driver is Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken from Tom Fuglery Motorsports. And his brother, Michael Pagliarulo, will be making his Excalibur debut as Excalibur will be driving in the stadium here today. We have Lucas Stabilizer, driven by Cynthia Gautier, returning back from motherhood recently. Jim Kohler, the two-time World Finals champion, driving Avenger. And his son, Chris Kohler, will be piloting the really cool dog, Brutus. He's been pretty good so far. Kayla Blood and Sparkle Smash. She still really hasn't seemed comfortable in this truck. Hopefully today can be a good event for her. Armando Castro is having the best year of his Monster Jam career and has been tearing it up in the stadiums in this summer. Tristan England returns to the building in which he won the World Racing Championship just one year ago in the JCD Gigatron. After him is John Zimmer driving uproar, welcoming him back to Monster Jam with his son, John Zimmer Jr. In terminal velocity, these two are going to be really fun to watch. Ryan Anderson, the 2024 Stadium Championship Series West Champion, is here in Son of a Digger and his brother, the older brother, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. It is a stacked field of trucks. There are so many amazing competitors and they will go to battle starting with the racing competition in which the 12 drivers will go head to head. And we start off with Armando Castro and El Toro Loco and Cynthia Gautier in the Lucas Stabilizer. We've got the tabletop Chicago style racing today. And after one lap, they're pretty close. Armando Castro has not gotten too many reps on this track before, but looking fast. But look at that. Lucas Stabilizer gets the win. Cynthia Gautier. I'd say pulls out an upset on that one. A big win for her. Now we have two creatures going head to head. Nick Pagliarulo driving Kraken. Kayla Blood driving Sparkle Smash. Not the greatest of racers, but one of them will head out of round one with a victory. And Kayla Blood has a pretty big lead. Out of these two, I'd say Kayla Blood is definitely the better racer. She's had some good racing competitions this year. Looking smooth. Not the cleanest of races, but she does get the win. Sparkle Smash advances into the next round. This stadium looking half empty tonight, which is quite interesting, especially considering it was the home of the World Finals last year. Now Tristan England, last year's World Racing Champion in this building, drives the JCB Digatron, taking on Uproar, driven by John Zimmer, making his return to Monster Jam after a couple of years. A great racer, but he's losing this one, as Tristan England has a pretty solid lead right now. He's been so dialed into this track all year, and there was no question about that one. John Zimmer not looking so clean in today's first round of racing. This next pairing, we have Michael Pagliarulo driving Excalibur, which returns to Monster Jam, taking on Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger. Excalibur, a truck that was brought into the world by Charlie Pawkin. Now his son Chucky normally drives it, but Michael Pagliarulo driving it today. 
We'll see if he has any success against one of the best racers in the world. Brian Anderson looking bad fast and an easy victory. But Michael Pagliarulo was only about a truck length behind, so not a bad showing from the kid. We move into the second round of racing as Adam Anderson in Grave Digger takes on Cynthia Gauthier and Lucas Stabilizer. Now Adam Anderson's Grave Digger 35, this is officially its final event. It's being retired after this event. So Adam Anderson will be getting a new Grave Digger and that Grave Digger 35 has been around a long time. So this is our last chance at getting to see it compete. And he takes home a win here in round two. He will advance trying to get a racing win one final time in this truck. It's a legendary body and a legendary name in the Gravedigger world. And Adam Anderson retiring it. As our next race, we have Caleb Blood and Sparkle Smash going up against Jim Kohler in Avenger. Jim Kohler, a two-time World Freestyle champion. Now here in Nissan Stadium, he's got a little bit of a lead right now going into the final turn. Jim Kohler looking smooth, and he wins the race. Jim Kohler going to the semifinals. How about that? How about you? I love it. Now Chris Kohler and Brutus takes on Tristan England, the JCB Digatron. Chris Kohler, not the fastest of racers. He's got a tough task here. Tristan England, one of the best in the business, and he's already got a lead. Tristan, in just one year, has established himself as one of the elite racers in this sport. And he's got another win in the semi, or in this second round, as he will move on to the semifinals. And he's getting closer and closer to yet another racing win. And this one, I think, would mean a little bit more to him than a lot of them, because the last time he was here, he won the racing championship. Now Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, takes on John Zimmer Jr., Terminal Velocity. The last time we saw him here on this channel was in Miami, Oklahoma last weekend. And John Zimmer Jr. is one heck of a racer, but he's got a big matchup here. Can he pull out the upset and surprise the world? No, Ryan Anderson looking very fast with a close race. And John Zimmer Jr., let me tell you, that kid is the future of Monster Jam and Monster Trucks. And he was so close to taking down Ryan. Now the semi-finals, we have a battle of legendary green trucks and legendary drivers. Adam Anderson and Gravedigger taking on Jim Kohler and Avenger. But Jim Kohler's specialty is freestyle, and it's kind of showing in this race because Adam Anderson has taken him to school in the semifinals. Another win for Gravedigger 35 going to the final round. Jim Kohler, his semifinals appearance was cool, but it didn't last very long. Now the winner of this next race will take on Gravedigger in the final round, and this is a race I've been wanting to see all year. Tristan England, JCB Digatron, and Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. Tristan England, one of the best racers this year, taking on Ryan Anderson, who won the Stadium Racer of the Year. This is a grudge match right now, and the winner is Son of a Digger. By about a truck length, Ryan Anderson says, Hey, kid, you might be tearing it up this year, but I am the king. Don't you forget it. So now, in Nissan Stadium, we have the best battle we could have in all the Monster Jam in the final round right now. In the gray lane, the five-time world finals champion, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger. And in the red lane, his brother, his younger brother, the four-time world finals champion, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. They are going. Let's see who wins it in Nashville tonight. Nothing is more exciting than watching these two race against each other. Ryan has a lead entering the final turn. He's up on two wheels for a moment. Coming down to the wire, Ryan with another mistake, but he holds on and wins the race. Adam Anderson had enough mistakes that he couldn't get the win, and Ryan takes home the victory. What a finish to this awesome night of racing. That was an amazing racing competition, and we are off to a great start tonight. This is an amazing way to kick off this evening here in Nissan Stadium. The home of the World Finals last year and now trying to have a great event here today. And Ryan Anderson, the first winner out of the three competitions. Doing a little celebration as he loves to do. He took down his brother and there's no bigger victory for him than beating his older brother. Showing that he is the better racer in the family. A lot of people would argue that. So now is the skills challenge as these drivers will get to do either two moves on two wheels or one donut. And the 2024 Two Wheel Skills World Champion Armando Castro in El Toro Loco is starting us off with a nice long stoppy. 
Use that step up to his advantage, and he is absolutely walking this El Toro Loco truck. Such precision and control. This is really, really good work. I mean, that was a beauty of a stoppy. That thing was practically just camping out there. Really good first move, and he's got one more. Again, the 2024 Two Wheel Skills Champion and also the Arena Series East Champion this year. A nice popper. He's very, very good in the two wheel competition, hence why he won that world championship. So these fans, I'm sure, are enjoying the treat that Armando Castro brings to every single two wheel run. All 15 fans in the seats here today. Nice move, walking it backwards up the ramp. That was not easy to do. I mean, Armando makes it look so easy out there. This is really difficult stuff. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Armando Castro making it look simple. An amazing run from El Toro Loco. The score is at 8.315. Decent start is cracking. It's a bicycle, Nick Pagliarulo. Nice save. He was on one wheel. On one wheel for a moment. That was awesome. So cracking off to a great start. Try and move number two here. Goes for a stoppy. My goodness, that was an amazing save. Oh no, he couldn't get it in reverse in time. So his run is over. Nah, 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 no. Nah. Breaking the rules. That's against the rules. Nope, disqualify him. He will get a score of a 6.211. And obviously that first move carried that a little bit as John Zimmer in uproar comes out next. He loves doing his wheelies and a good slap wheelie driver and a good slap wheelie out of uproar there. Tried a little double. I'll give him it. John Zimmer has not competed in Monster Jam in a couple years. I don't remember exactly when the last time he drove was. But it's cool to see him back trying to stoppy the old dog doing new tricks. Well, not too well, though. That's all right. Uproar will get a 5.194. Too bad for John Zimmer. Monster Jam Legend getting a return. I think that's Excalibur. Looks like it. Yes, it is. That is Excalibur. Michael Pagliarulo. Very solid. Going for a bicycle here? Okay, the old Excalibur on two wheels. Look at that Excalibur truck. Oh, gosh. Nope, he's flipped her. Well, he was a little too excited on that one. It was a good run nonetheless, 6.772, but not even close to El Toro Loco's top spot. Here is the Lucas Stabilizer, Cynthia Gautier. She's doing a bicycle. Not a great one, though. Cynthia Gautier's tried them before. She doesn't normally do too well. She's going for another. Okay, can she do this one well? Well, it's a little bit better. Not a great one. Okay, run from the Stabilizer. It's a 6.894. Here's Sparkle Smash, driven by Kayla Blood. She's got that thing up against the backflip ramp. She's been doing this a couple times here in the summer. She's done them pretty well. She's done them a couple times throughout the year, but all right, she got it off, but not, not much more. Too bad. It's a risky move. It really is. It's a high risk, high reward. She gets it off the racing lane. Nobody does stoppies off the racing lane anymore. I love that. A for creativity, and it's a 6.942. Still, nobody coming close to El Toro Loco. Here's Brutus. Chris Kohler doing a bicycle. And a little bit of a stinker on that one. We've seen Chris Kohler do some amazing bicycles before. Going for the step-up ramp. All right, what's he trying to do here? Trying to combo it into a stoppy! Chris Kohler! No one ever does that, and if anyone was going to do it, I didn't think it would be Chris Kohler... That was awesome! No, I don't think anyone's done that this year. Wow! He's your new leader in an 8.851 and deservingly! Here's John Zimmer. Oh no! He's got a broken axle up there and his run is going to be a little tainted by that. He's got a broken axle in the front left, flipping over! Oh no! Terminal velocity. Not only has he flipped over, but he's got work to do to come back for freestyle. Here's Avenger. Nice sky wheelie. Trying to take down his son, Chris Kohler, who is currently in the hot seat with that 8.851. Is Jim going for a popper? I think he is. Jim Kohler popper. Ooh, nope. Not quite. Oh, well. Solid run from Avenger. It's a 5.317. Here's the JCB Digatron. Tristan England. 
made it to the semifinals in racing tonight, and he is a king of the skills challenge. But Chris Kohler in a bit of a wow mo. That's going to be tough to beat because, yes, the first move kind of stunk. It doesn't change the fact that he did a move that no one ever does, and it looked really cool, and he executed it perfectly. Tristan trying to combo, a move he's done 189 times in his life, and that is the end of the first move. Could have walked it a little bit further. The truck looks like it's leaning a little bit. He might have a sway bar issue, or maybe the body might not be mounted perfectly, but I know his crew chief, Howie Dalton, has got that thing dialed in. Oh no, he tried a bicycle, Tristan England. It didn't work. And that's going to hurt his scores. It's only an 8.392. Here's Adam Anderson, Grave Digger. Oh gosh, almost fully lost it there. He's able to recover, but not able to walk it any further. Adam Anderson still trying to put on a really cool skills run, but ew, ew, that was a disappointing one. 6.572, and your racing winner, Ryan Anderson, comes out last, trying to beat Chris Kohler and Brutus. Son of a digger walking a bicycle. Oh, yeah, walking it a long way. Good bicycle, so comparatively to Brutus' first run, or first move, that was better. Let's see if the second move can be better than what Chris Kohler did for his second move. Ryan Anderson walking the bicycle. He almost lost it, but he's got it under control. This is good control. Close to the sidewalls. Whoa. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did he do that? He flipped it to the left side and immediately put it into a moonwalk. That is something he has not done this year. That was an incredible move, and I don't know if it was on purpose, but if it was, oh, the masterful work of Ryan Anderson. He is your winner with a 9.211, and he deserves to be. That was an amazing move, and he's doubled down already as Michael Pagliarulo freestyles in Excalibur to start off this competition. All 12 drivers will get to do whatever they want on this track for two minutes, and Michael Pagliarulo bringing Excalibur back to life here in Nissan Stadium. He is a killer freestyler, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Michael Pagliarulo has a full send mentality. These shocks, by the way, look super soft. Every landing, they are fully compressing, which is, I guess, a good thing? It depends on the way you want to drive. Some drivers prefer them a little bit stiffer, but Excalibur, full send. And those shocks ate up the entirety of that jump, so you like that, and I like seeing Excalibur back. I mentioned it before, Charlie Calkin brought this truck to the world. His son, Chucky, drives it a lot independently, but Michael Pagliarulo bringing it back to Monster Jam here in Nissan Stadium. I think I heard somewhere that this is Excalibur's stadium debut as well in Monster Jam, which is very, very cool. And Michael Pagliarulo trying to represent the absolutely legendary name well. He's putting on a good freestyle right now. And Back in Black is its theme song. That's an interesting choice for this truck, but I'll take it. Going for the jammer. Oh, he's short on it. Oh, my. Well, Excalibur has a nice crash to end off the run. And a solid showing from Michael Pagliarulo. It's a 7.245. Here's John Zimmer, the Monster Jam legend, driving Uproar. Uproar's Monster Jam debut as well. Very, very cool to see this truck in the Monster Jam circuit. This truck made itself a new, this is a new truck this year. So very cool to see. So John Zimmer, him and his son getting to be out here competing for the first time together at the stadium level. And John Zimmer Jr. who we'll see a little bit later in freestyle making his stadium debut tonight. But John Zimmer, this man's been around the block so many times. He's driven in Monster Jam forever. One of the longest tenured drivers in this field tonight. He's been around about as long as Adam Anderson has, a little bit later than that, but he's been around longer than Ryan has. I think he's the second longest tenured driver in this lineup. I'm pretty sure he is. So it's cool to see a guy like John Zimmer back at it. And I was wondering when, he, when we found out that Uproar was a truck, I was like, maybe we'll get to see John Zimmer back? And I'm very happy that he is, and I'm excited to see if he will end up staying in the sport, going on tour again next year, all things are going to have to find out. And if he does go back on tour, do we think we're going to see uproar and terminal velocity in a stadium, or do we think they're going to be arena drivers? I think they deserve to be in a stadium, but we'll have to find out. Is he going for the backflip? John Zimmer going for the backflip? Yes! Oh, that was money! John Zimmer, welcome back to Monster Jam with a backflip. Great work 
from the uproar truck. This is a good freestyle. It's not the greatest, but throwing in a backflip in there is obviously going to help his scores out a lot. I love to see John Zimmer back in the sport with a really decent freestyle and with a backflip in there. I shouldn't say back to the sport because he never left the sport. I should say back to the, the series, I guess. Whatever you want to consider Monster Jam. But back to Monster Jam. And obviously Nissan Stadium getting a treat here. The uproar truck making its debut. And it was a good freestyle. Going after the time, too. Time is up. I didn't even realize that. So his time is up. They've been letting him just freestyle, which is something that we haven't seen in a very long time. So John Zimmer going way after the time expired. They never shut him off. That's very cool. An ode to old Monster Jam with a legend freestyling himself. It's an 8.860 for Uproar as Armando Castro and El Toro Loco comes out next. Now Armando did get to compete last year at the Monster Jam World Finals in this building. He actually had a pretty good freestyle. If I remember right, I think that was his first ever World Finals as a member of the main field, but I could be wrong. I know everyone's going to correct me in the comments, as you guys always do. Greatest subscribers in the world, you guys will correct every single little mistake that I will ever have. And you guys are awesome for it. It'll be 3 in the afternoon and I'll hear someone say, you know, you actually said that was Grave Digger 37. It was actually Grave Digger 38, matter of fact. And I just get a good chuckle out of it. Just know, I read all the comments. You might think I don't, but I do. Back to the monster trucks. Why am I yapping? Shut up, bro. Why are you talking so much? Armando Castro's had two really good freestyles at the stadium level so far in the summer, and he's had off a pretty good start so far in this in this competition here today. The difference in the last one was he wasn't going full bore all 120 seconds like he was in MetLife Stadium. In MetLife Stadium, he was going bonkers for all two minutes, whereas in Kansas City, he was a little bit more laid back and ended strong. Kind of looks like that's the freestyle run we're getting here. Using those racing lanes a lot, but nothing great in this run so far. This has just been a monster jam freestyle, but he's going for the backflip. This is where some big things can happen. Nice landing. Oh, yeah! Clean moonwalk. Nice, short, sweet. I love that he does it. And a nice send afterwards. Armando really adapting the stadium lifestyle very well in Nissan Stadium. Getting to see it firsthand. Headed to that jammer. Whoa! Oh, oh, huge air! Oh gosh! I thought he was going over. That thing landed like a dream. His time is up. Very good freestyle, Armando. Three for three and great freestyle runs this summer. Woo, baby, this guy can freestyle. And that is a good run at a 9.197. Kraken's flying. Nick Pagliarulo has been the king of announcing his presence this year. The one hit wonder himself, Nick Pagliarulo is gonna get a second move. Not too often that gets to happen this year. He is oftentimes a good old one and done in 2024. I don't know if Nick Pagliarulo's even filled the clock more than like three times. So we'll see, maybe today will be the day. Maybe Kraken will get to live out a whole freestyle run. Nissan Stadium's got a couple good runs in so far. Nice air again. Bit of a low number from El Toro Loco too. A 9.197 is a little low. Nice save from Kraken. So the score to beat is a little bit timid. It opens up the door for even better freestyles. But I like the number being where it is. I probably would have given it about a 9.32. It was a solid run. But not every day that my score gets underscored on a big run like that. Nice air again. Kraken can fly. This is the only octopus in the entire world that has wings. See if Nick Pagliarulo can continue that throughout this run. Those racing lanes are cut nicely. I want to see someone fly right in front of us. I think he's going for the backflip. There he is, going for the backflip. Ooh, wow, those brakes are toasty. Transmission sounds toasty, too. They shut him off. 
Oh, well, that was... I don't know if they're going to let him keep going. Those brakes were on fire. Well, someone make a decision. Oh, wow. Are they going to let him keep going? Oh, wow. We're letting him keep going. Exciting. Okay, I don't think they shut him off. I actually think that the truck shut itself off. He's going to be done now, though. So, pretty good run from Kraken. 8.215. I mean, he... Came really close to filling the clock, which is great. That's probably one of the longest runs he's had of the year. What is Tristan's wife next to us? Seems like Tristan England's wife is in the building and is sitting right next to the camera. Here's Chris Kohler and Brutus. Well, fiance, not wife, yeah. Chris Kohler sounding a lot better today than the last two events. Oh my, I was about to say then in the first two summer events, the motor sounded like it was on its last legs. It really just was disgusting in the entirety of the Kansas City event. And he put on an okay freestyle. It seemed like the truck was really lagging behind. But today, this thing sounds lively. It almost sounds like Corey Rubble's truck. Really nice. It almost sounds like it's got turbos on it. This Brutus seems pretty today. Had a pretty solid run in the skills challenge. Oh gosh, flying through us there. So Chris Kohler looks like a man on a mission today. Whatever was wrong with that truck, with my lack of true monster truck knowledge, well, I don't know what is actually wrong with it. it seems like it's fixed. My professional opinion is that Brutus is in tip-top shape today. This is nice. This is the kind of pace we've seen in some of Chris Kohler's freestyles this year. And in some of those runs, he really had some amazing wow moments. Backing her up to go for the backflip ramp. Very early attempt here. Woo! He was high on that one. Nice landing, though. He landed perfectly. I'm really high on that backflip. He's going full throttle to that jammer. Nice air again. You have to compare this run out to Toro Loco. Armando didn't have a really consistently powerful two minutes like Brutus is having, but Armando had that wow moment in there and really went big at the end. But Brutus is also flying and has had a more complete run. Flipping, saving, yeah! Chris Kohler, nice save. And Brutus has now got the wow moment too. Headed to the racing lane. Wow! Absolutely flying. Brutus parts flying all over the place. The dog is just falling apart. Great freestyle. It's your new leader with a 9.528. Here's Sparkle Smash. Kayla Blood. It's going to be tough to follow that run from Chris Kohler. That was a big number from a really good run. Nice to see Chris Kohler continuing his freestyle success into the summer events. Obviously, you never know how things are going to translate from first quarter to the second half. Nice to see Brutus have a great run. Sparkle Smash airing it out. Weird bounce. Ooh. Now, I said in the last event in Kansas City, it just seemed like Kayla Blood does not look as fired up in this truck as she was in first quarter. I don't know if this is a new chassis for her. Obviously, that would play a big role if it is. But if it's not, she is not driving with the same heat and intensity that we saw in first quarter but that looks a little different today she looks a little bit more comfortable tonight so for whatever reason it just seemed like something was off in those first two because Caleb Blood looking good tonight that was a hard landing I bet that truck's broken no it's okay wow Sparkle Smash holding up Testament to the crew chief there oh almost flipped her over this is a great run from Caleb Blood. Now, this is what I was talking about. This is what we saw first quarter. Nice to see it back here for the first time of the summer. Going for that racing lane, going pretty big, too. This is a great run. This is a very good run for Sparkle Smash. Going for that backflip. Oh, my God. Look at the height on the backflip. She bout blasts into the dumpster. So it's probably going to end her run, but my goodness, we've had some super high backflips this summer. That's the end of her run. Too bad it's over so soon, but an 8.660, that was the best run Sparkle Smash has ever had. And a very good showing from Kayla Blood.
Here's John Zimmer Jr. at Terminal Velocity. He's off with the racing lane. Now watch this freestyle. Because John Zimmer Jr. can absolutely tear it up and he's still got a broken axle. Whatever was wrong with that truck, they did not get it fixed, but he's not slowing down. Big air off the step up. This kid can freestyle. One of the best independent freestylers in the sport, and if you didn't watch him in the arenas, well, you should have. Because this kid is talented and will be around in this sport for a very long time. It's a brand new truck, brand new chassis underneath that terminal velocity body, and he is ready to rip! And the broken axle not slowing him down at all. Absolutely no problems. I mean, it is not even hurting him in the slightest. Normally you see this impacting the way they drive, but it is really not changing a thing. He's really laying down a good run, getting the big air. His flow has been good. Seems like he might have just lost gear, though. Yep, he just lost all gearing. That's too bad. 4.847. It's not going to do it. So some truck problems will hinder the performance of John Zimmer Jr. in his first ever stadium event as Cynthia Gautier is off and running. And the Lucas Stabilizer, also known as the Honky Tonka. This truck loves to fly, and Cynthia still not looking like her normal self. We'll see if maybe that changes today. Cynthia Gautier, in her peak, was a full send driver who was not afraid to get big air, not afraid to drive as hard as she could. That's more like it from Cynthia Gautier. That was the full send mentality I've been missing. Been missing from this truck all year. The Honky Tonka has really not done a single thing all season. And having Cynthia Gautier back in the seat should change that. But she's got to get more used to driving again. Today looking a little bit more comfortable. But I'd like to see some more of those big hits like that. That's the kind of stuff that we need to see from Cynthia. Oh my! Save it! Whoa! <laughs> nice save! Well, that was a risky move, and it was entirely on purpose. They shut her off for clipping Kraken, and they end her run. Oh, that is... Oh, I am... Oh, I'm angry about that. Ooh, that, that just... Oh, wow. All right. Stabilizer, 8.409. Here's Avenger, Jim Cole. Cynthia Gautier might have been able to win freestyle if they let her keep going, but no, no, no. She just gave Kraken a little kick, and that's against the rule. So Jim Cole, the two-time world freestyle champion here in Avenger, trying to have a good run. This is his first event since... No, no, he was in MetLife. Sorry. My brain can't remember. My brain is not braining, but it doesn't matter. Jim Kohler's soaring. We are getting some big air today. I love that these guys are taking flight here in Nashville, Tennessee. The airport's like, what are all these blips showing up on the airport radar? Well, it's just the monster trucks at Nissan Stadium. Don't you worry. Jim Kohler trying to be one of them. He's definitely getting nice air in this run. I mean, the guy is... Had some of the biggest air in the history of monster trucks. Definitely not afraid to fly. Little donut in there. We'll give that a chocolate munchkin. Shut down. Shut back. Or not shut back on. Turn back on. Shut down again. I think Avengers done. There was a bit of flames that came out of the exhaust. Yep, he's done. Too bad. Here's Grave Digger. This is Adam Anderson. Avenger 6.722. Adam Anderson, the five time world finals champion. Last time we saw him was in Kansas City, where he had a bonkers freestyle, went full send into the side of the step up. And now this is the final ride for Grave Digger 35, the truck that's been around for a very long time. And Adam has been driving it for a very long time. He'll be getting himself a new chassis and a new paint or a new body. Very, very cool. Wow, nice air. Adam has really looked like a new man in these summer events in 2024, and I really nailed it in the last event in Kansas City. He looks way more like his Grave Digger the Legend and Taz days than he has, I think, ever. 
driving this Gravedigger truck. I don't know if we have ever seen Adam Anderson drive Gravedigger quite like the way he has in these last couple events, and he's continuing it today. Look at the pace and speed we've seen so far in this run from Adam Anderson. It's almost like he went 10 years in the past, grabbed himself from 2014, brought him through a time machine, and now he's driving this Gravedigger truck, because that is exactly the kind of driving we are seeing from Adam Anderson. We haven't seen this in a long time from this man. Going for the side of the step up! Oh my, the cross thread! That was a cross thread heaven right there! That was amazing, he broke something on the landing. Looks like an axle in the back right. He is certainly burning Gravedigger into the ground as Dennis Anderson would have loved him to do! And always did, and for 42 years these Gravedigger drivers do just that. And Adam Anderson sending Gravedigger 35 off the proper way with a true Gravedigger freestyle, and this thing is getting demolished. Adam wants to make sure that this truck doesn't need to be driven back into the trailer. It's got to get pulled off because he is going as hard as he can, and a great ride for Gravedigger to end the night. It's an 8.325, but the number doesn't represent how good that freestyle was. Adam Anderson with a great one here in Nashville. Here's Tristan England in the JCB Diggatron. The man won the racing championship in this building last year. This is the first time he's competing here since, and his first time competing here in the JCB Diggatron. He was driving Earthshaker when he won that championship last year. Right about there where he crossed the finish line and won that racing championship. I think, I don't remember, I don't know what side we're on right now, quite honestly. This building holds a special place in my heart too because I was working that Monster Jam World Finals last year. It was the first ever Monster Jam World Finals I got to work as an employee. It was a very, very special moment and special weekend in my life and I hold this building very near and dear to my heart and I'm sure Tristan England does too. It was a magical moment for him, for me, for everybody that got to work this event and witness him win that first championship. Let's see if he can get a freestyle win here tonight in this very building. Now Tristan, while he has turned into one of the most elite racers in the stadium scene, freestyle is good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it could use a little bit of work. Nice air. Good air that time. Hard landing. That's been a little awkward all night. I'm not saying he's a bad freestyler, but Tristan, you could tell, is learning a lot, and I want to see him really develop into one of those full-bore freestylers. Right now, he's kind of more of a Todd LaDuke-esque kind of guy. Nothing wrong with that, but definitely a lot more room for him to grow, and at such a young age, in his first year driving at the stadium level, I can't wait to see how he does that. Big air, and again, racing is his strong suit, but he can freestyle, but he just stuffed that thing in there and killed it. Oh boy, how we had a lot of work to do after that one. So the final competitor, here he is, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, the four-time world finals champ, and he is here to freestyle in Nashville, Tennessee. What a great night here in Nashville. We have had three amazing summer events, and we are continuing them here and I don't know when the next summer event is. It's been a long time since we've had this empty of a summer for Monster Jam at the stadium level. There are really no summer stadiums at all after this. The next stadium we get, matter of fact, is actually Glendale in October on October 5th, and then we have Arlington, Texas. So that's it, as of right now, there's only two more stadiums scheduled for the rest of the year. But Ryan making sure to go big in this last one before we get into the heat of the summer. And the last stadium event for about three months, Ryan Anderson gonna try and put on a show. Very big air. Ryan Anderson has been the final freestyler so many times. He knows what it takes to put on the best show he can. A little smoke coming from the front brakes, it looks like. Maybe the differential looks okay. He's going to combo that thing, of course. Good job. Right now, though, he needs to get a wow moment. He's not playing it timid, but it seems like he hasn't really been able to find his momentum perfectly. 
Is he going for a bicycle? He doesn't do this too much in freestyle. I like that. A bicycle in this run. Sidewalls! Whoa! Nice job. Broken axle in the front left, though. Well, uh, I don't know. Is there? I don't really care. He's still freestyling, so that's all that matters. Is he going to side slap that step up? Of course he is. Cross threading. He saw his brother do it. He decided to do it himself. He outdid his brother in the event in Kansas City, tied him in score, and was able to win. I didn't talk about it in that event, but they got the exact same score, and Ryan won, but I think he's broken. Yeah, Ryan's done. He's broken, and that is the end of the run and the end of the night. It's a 9.277, so Brutus, Chris Kohler is your freestyle winner here tonight in Nashville, Tennessee, but Ryan Anderson brings home yet another overall event championship trophy with 35 points here tonight. Thank you so much for watching three amazing summer events here for Monster Jam. It's the last time we've got a stadium event at the Monster Jam level until uh, October, which is quite wild, but we're still going to be doing commentaries in the meantime. Don't you go anywhere. It is going to be a blast of a summer, and I can't wait to have you all here along with me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.